Hi, how are we all? Are we ready for an epic craft project? It is nearly end of the year. Why don't we go nut with this nutcracker advent calendar? Before we get too excited, please keep in mind that this is not a quick and easy project. Allow enough time and enjoy the project. Don't rush because it requires a lot of car stock. We want to do it once and do it right. It is a challenging yet super satisfying project. The download link is in the video description below. Find the link and click. The file is password protected. The password is in the video. Don't overthink and you will see it's easy. Please don't share the password in the comment. Let others have fun to treasure hunt the password. Type in the correct password. It will lead to this page. There are two download links. The first one is for Cameo users. Click in and here are all the Studio 3 files. For quicker, please click the second link. Here are all the SVG files for quicker. Download the files you need on your computer. For this project, we are going to use a lot of cardstocks. If you are going for the traditional nutcracker colors, then you will need a lot of red and black. We also need glue. And in some part of the, this project, double side tape might come in handy. It is up to you to put double side tape or traditional glue. Because there are a lot of files in this project and a lot of cutting, so I would suggest cut all the files in one go and then assemble them all together. I'm using those file folders to divide all the elements from different files. Upload the first file spaces into design space. Right click, ungroup. These are the spaces we need for in the body and in the legs. We are going to change the score line first. Click one item. And you can see on the right hand side like it has been grouped together the item and the score lines. Go to the right hand side panel. Click the top layer only. Go to the top here. Change the score. And click somewhere else. Click back the item again. Go to the button here. Click attach. Change the score line for the rest. Go make sure both layers are selected. Attach. Go attach. Click again, attach. Change the top layer to score line. Click the item and attach. And attach. There are six spaces in total. So go to the right hand side. We should have six items attached. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are going to duplicate each spaces in different numbers. It is very important to make sure the score lines are attached to the item. I'm going to show you what's the num quantity we will need for each spaces. This one has one dot here. That's number one spacer. This one has two dot number two spacer. And we have three dots here, number three. And this one has four dots. So that's number four spacer. And we have two box spacers here. One is bigger size and one is smaller in size. Here is the total number you will need. We are going to duplicate all the spaces to the quantity we need. 
This one we only need one, so we're going to pull it away. We don't need to duplicate this one. And for the small box spaces, number four and number two spaces. These three spaces, we will need four of them. So put those three together, right click, duplicate. So we have two of them now. We have two of them. Select all of them again, right click, duplicate. We have four set of those three spaces now. I'm going to move them away. Number one spaces, we will need six of them. Right click, duplicate. Right click, duplicate again. Now we have three number one spacer. Select all three of them, right click, duplicate. We have six number one spacers now. The last one is number three spacer, the one with three dots. We will need nine of these. Right click, duplicate. That's two, right click, duplicate again. We have three spacers now. Select all three right click duplicate we have six now right click duplicate again so we have nine number three spaces that's all the spaces we need click make it to continue if you got the correct number there will be eight pages of cutting not much you need to do just need to click continue to set up your scoring tool and your cardstock material Upload the second file handles. There is only one item in this file. So go to the right hand side, change the top layer to score line. Click again and attach. For Cameo user, we will need 15 of the red handle and 11 of black handle. So this is for Cameo user. For quicker user, click make it to continue. And what we need to do is go to the top left, change the number, copy number to 15, and apply. Quicker has divided into two pages, but we can move this to the page one. We have 15 red handles here. Just click continue to cut. We have finished cutting 15 red handles. We will need another 11 for black. So it doesn't matter if you change the color, I'll just change the color here so you can see it's easier. So you will see it's easy. I'm going to change it to black color and click make it. This time we are going to change the project copy to 11. Apply. Click continue to set up your scoring tool and material. Upload arms and legs file into the sample space. Right click and ungroup. Change the score line. Click the top layer. Change the score. Click again and attach. one click again and attach the two red elements they are for the arm and these three pieces they are for the legs so here we have one leg and one arm we will need two of them select all right click duplicate while they are still selected, go to the top here, go to the top flip here, and choose the first one, flip horizontal. That's all we need for this file. Click make it. Well, number three and number four, we surely can come by. And 
the object from number four, page four to page three. Double check nothing overlap each other. I'm going to move it out a bit. Nothing overlap each other. We save one page. That's black and the red part are for the arm. Click continue to cut. Once the file finished cutting, put the cutouts in a folder. This way we don't mix up the elements from different files. I like to read magazines. I also like the game in the magazines. One of my favorite is Stuku. Do you like Stuku? Upload file number 4 into design space body. It is very straightforward, we just need to change score lines. Right click on group. This piece doesn't have score line. Choose the top layer, change the score, click again, make sure two layers are selected, down to the bottom, attach. Same as this one, scroll, attach, and the last piece. Click make it, three pages. Click continue to cut. Upload file number 5 hat. Same as the last one, just need to change the score line. Right click and group. Click on one item, choose the top layer, go to the top, change the score. Click again, make sure both layers are selected, go to the bottom, attach. The biggest piece. Top layer. Go, choose again, attach. These other two, they don't need score line. Click make it. Two pages. Click continue to cut. Upload the six file face and belt into design space. Right click on group. This is the nose. Change the score line forward. Click again, attach. The face, change this piece as well, attach and don't forget this one, this is a belt for the nutcracker, choose the top layer, change so change score, click again, attach, and that's it, click make it. So they are color coded. Just insert different car, color car stock accordingly. Click continue to cut. The last file 007 numbers. Upload it into design space. You know what we need to do for this file? Nothing. We are just going to click make it and cut it. Easy as that. Click continue to cut. We have finished all the cutting now. There are seven files in this project. You can see I have six folders here. And the last file numbers I put them in one little container. The first things we are going to assemble is the spacers. We should have all the numbers we need. So I'm going just going to divide them. Here are all the spaces. You can see the marks of one, two, three, four. And the box spaces here. I'm going to show you how to assemble each one, then you can carry on to make the rest. This part is going to be very time consuming, but this is very essential because all those spaces, they are there to make the structure of the legs and the body stronger. Because this nutcracker is made of cardstock, we really need these spaces to make the structure stronger. Space the number one, find the one with the one dot, write number one for all the folding lines. Fold it like this. The side with the non straight line is the glue type side. We're going to apply glue here. 
a wide edge. This is space number one. Carry on to make the rest. Space number two, the one with two dots. Fold the folding lines first. Fold it like this. Apply glue on the side line without straight line. That's the glue tabs. Align the edge. This is the spacer number two. Spacer number three, the one with three dots. Fold the folding lines first. Fold it like this. Apply glue here. Spacer number three. Spacer number four. The one with four dots. Fold the folding lines first. That's how you fold the spacer number four. You can use glue or double side tape. Here I'm going to use glue. Spacer number four. There are two different sizes of box spacers. This one only got one piece. And this one, this size, they are for the arm. So we'll start with this one. Fold the folding lines first. Fold it like this, seal the two ends. Then glue the two ends together. Hide the glue tab outside of the box like this. This is the first box spacer. This is the smaller size box spacers. Fold the folding lines first. I'm using texture cardstock, so I'm going to leave the texture side inside of the box. When I close it out, the texture side will be inside the box. And I'm going to hide the glue tab outside of the box like this. The texture side will be inside of the box. And seal the two ends together. This is the box spacer. For the bigger box spacers, I left the texture side outside of the box. But later on, what we're going to see is actually inside of the box. So when you are doing it, make sure if you are using texture cardstock as well, leave the texture size inside of the box. We made four different sizes of long spacers. One, two, three, four. And we have two different sizes of box spacers. The bigger one, we got one. And this is the smaller box spacers. Carry on to make the rest of the spacers. We have done all the spacers now. You'll be happy to know that we are halfway there. The rest should be very straightforward. These are the elements for the second file handle. This part will be the inside tab. This part will be the outside handle. I'm going to fold in the middle. Fold the tabs and the handles out. Glue in the middle. It should look like this. Continue the rest. All the handles are done now.
File number three, arms and legs. We should have two set of each. So I'm going to grab the arm first. Okay, these two pieces still make one arm. For all the folding lines first. Fold the piece like this. For the door here, we fold it backward. All we are going to do, we are going to get two handles. Get two handles. Fold it behind the door. Semicircle side outside. This side inside tab. And align the line here with the door. Same as this one, the semicircle handle outside, tap inside. Align here. If you see on the door, you can see two score marks. They are position marks for the numbers. We are going to stick on the numbers before we assemble the box. This is one I made earlier. We're making arms. So the door open this side, same as this one. So I'm going to put 13 and 14 here. Go the numbers under score marks. Numbers are on. There are two decoration marks. We are going to pull it on later. Flip it to inside. We are going to glue the box. I am going to bend this backward for now, so it's out of the way. Pull this side as well. Get two box spaces. Put it through. Blue tab come off on this side. I'm going to do this one first. Put one spacer in. Blue tab from this side. Glue the glue tabs. Press it from the other side. Use a ruler to press. The back should look like this. Put another spacer through as well. Put the spacer through. Tap come off on this side, apply glue. The back should look like this. Fold down all the tabs. Those two tabs overlap each other, just glue on and apply glue. Here, 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 so you can highlight underneath. Tuck the tab in. Apply glue all over and close the top like this. Flip it over, 
apply this piece on. Now the arm is done. We still got some decoration, but we'll do it later. Continue to make the other arm. I have fold the other arm, same as the other one, we are just going to put the inside handle in. Remember the semicircle sides outside. This is the right hand side arm. Yeah, right hand side arm is number 15 and 16. I'm going to put the numbers on. Put the number on where the mark is. Get the remain two box spaces. The left arm is down too. Both arms are down now. These are the elements for the legs. We should have two sets. We'll do one leg first. You can see an L shape here. And for the cover, find the same L shape. And for the back, find the opposite one, the mirror image of the L. So this will be for the Nutcracker's right leg. Fold the folding lines first. Fold the leg piece like this. This is the cover for the leg. Fold the door as well. Now we're going to assemble the leg into a box. Pull it to the back. Like looks like this now. Fold back all the tabs first. Fold back those tabs. Now we have an L-shaped box. Here are the spaces we need. Two of number three spaces. Two of number two. And three number one spaces. I'm going to show you how to put the spacers in. If you are not confident, don't go and just practice how to put it in first. We're going to put one spacer here and two number three spacers. Number two here.
another number two here. And two number one here. The rest of number one go to the top. And here. That's how we put the spaces. Number one, put it here. Glue the bottom and the side. Flip to the other side, make sure it doesn't come out. Number three, go here. Another number three, go here. And we are going to pull those two here. Flip it over, make sure it align. Number two, here. Sometimes the space might get stuck because the sharp corner just adjusts a little bit. With the glue, it might be a bit hard to get down. Just adjust the corner and tuck it in. Number two, here. So number two, go down here. We're going to apply glue here, here, and half here. Number one, here. And last one, last number one here. We should have an L-shaped leg. Put all the glue tabs down. Flip it over. Give it a good press. We should still have those two pieces for the leg. This is the back. We are going to cover the back like this. over, give it a good press, leave it to dry, we're going to make the cover. Grab four black handles and attach them to the doors. Semi-circle side out. We have done one leg. It's the left leg for the nutcracker. So we're going to have 21, 22, 23, and 24. Glue the number on the score mark. We have done one leg. Continue to the other leg. I'll show you again how to do the spaces for the leg. We need two number three, two number two, and three number one. Put all the tabs backward first. Number one here. Number three here. Another number three here. And put glue on two teeth. Number two here. Number two here. Apply glue on one block here. Number one 
number one skulls here and here. That's it for another leg. Get the backing piece, seal the back. I glue on all the handles. I'm going to glue the number on first. This is the nutcracker's right legs, so the number should be 17, 18, 19, 20. The numbers are done now. I'm just going to glue it on. Both legs are done. File well, number four, body. We shall have four pieces for the body. Apart from those four pieces, go to the file number six, face and belt. We will need those two pieces from file number six. A black stripes and yellow buckle. So take those two pieces out from file number six. We are going to fold the biggest piece first. Fold this piece like this, get this piece and fold it as well. Pull these two pieces together, flip it over, make it into a box. Align the side well. We should have a box like this. We should have four number four, one, two, three, four, number four, and five number three. One, two, three, four, five. Number fours are the long side, they are going this way. And number three, they are the short side, they are going this way. First, we're going to bend the tabs back through first, so it's easier. If you're not confident, don't glue it yet. Just pull it into practice. Get yourself familiar with how to do it. body box should look like this. Once you are confident, you can glue all the spaces in. So number four, go the long way. Number three, go the short way. I'm going to glue it on now. The body box is done now, flip over. It's better to align those lines properly. Some, see, this one I didn't align as well. So it came out a little bit, I tried to fix it, but the glue already set. Well, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hide this side to where the door hinge side. 
So the door will open from this side. This way, you won't affect the tap to close the door. Alrighty, hold on the glue tabs and glue the glue tabs on. Turn it over, give it a good press. Apply glue all over, we're going to seal the back. I'm going to put something heavy on the top to get it set. I'm just going to let it get set for now. Put it on the side. We need these three pieces for the cover for the body. Most two pieces are from file number six. Face and belt. So four all the folding lines first. Glue this piece on. Align those three squares. Put the yellow buckle on. Don't cover this door. Double check it doesn't cover the door here. Here are the remain handles. Take two red one out. And we are going to glue the handles to behind the door. Remember, semicircle is outside. I have done all the handles. Now it's time to put all the numbers in. If you see on the door, you can see there is a score mark on each door. That's where we're going to glue the numbers. Same as the black one. So this is the body. I designed it to 1 to 12, but you can arrange the numbers however you like. I'm just going to stick 1 to 12 here. All the numbers are down. This. We are going to glue it on. It's looking pretty good. This is probably better to use what's that double side tape. It might be a better choice so I don't have to rush. I'm just going to give a generous amount of glue. Be more on the corner. Looking good. File number five, hat. We're going to fold the biggest piece into a box. Fold this piece like this. Flip it over, glue it into a box. Into a box like this. Get the last box spacer. Put it through. Put the tabs through. Hold the tabs down. Give it a bit press from this side. Tuck all the glue tabs underneath. Use this rectangle piece to cover all the glue tabs. Flip to the back. Use this rectangle to cover all the glue tabs as well, like this. Cover the glue tabs. Flip it over. 
for those two doors. Do the last two handles. Go on the door, the semicircle side outside. Go on the last number, twenty-five. You can see laser. There's a position mark here. Go the number on there. We only have one folder left, that's the face and the belt. We should get the decoration out. Six of these, two long one, four short one. So two longer one. You can see the mark there. That's for here. I'm going to use phone dots on these things. I put the phone dot at the back of the decoration. It's going to put it on. Same as this one. I have the shorter one. The phone dot at the back too. You see, you have you have position marks here as well. Two position marks each. on like this well, I'm going to put something heavy on the top to let the glue set the last file yes alrighty this is for the face and it's set those two skin color semicircle they are for the arms here, I'm just going to go it later, pull us to a side, find the face piece first, and go on all the eyes, eyebrow, and mustache. If you can see the face piece, you can see there are position marks on, just go and on in position. piece it's the nose piece for all the folding lines fold it like this glue those two on the triangle here apply glue here and here Tuck in the glue tabs. There's a rectangle mark here. We'll glue the nose on there. That's the face done. Pull this piece. It's like this, go it into a box. Go the face piece on like this. The base is done. We got two semicircle left. Let's pull the arm here. Just pull an arm. We shall have seven pieces like we put together. Now we are going to assemble everything together. We will go. I think I'm going to go from the top. Go the face and the hat together. Give it a generous amount of glue. Now I'm going to do the, the body and the arm. Double check the opening is toward outside. So this side opening is toward this side. Pull it on a flat surface. 
Pull it on like this. Again, generous amount of glue. Same as the other side. Hold it together. I know it's nearly finished, but I'm going to let the glue set before I move on to the next step. I don't want anything to fall apart now. So I'm going to let the glue set. Now I'm going to glue the legs on. I'm going to glue the legs on like this. If you want them a bit closer, that's fine. It's up to you. I think you have better support to go to the end. I'm just going to hold it a bit. Same as the other one. Generous amount of glue. I'm going to glue the hats on as well. Make sure it's in the middle. I'm going to leave it to dry. Until it dry, I will leave it up. All right, I think it should be ready. Just gently lift it up. Okay, uh, it's too big for you to see, but it's done, hey. <laughs> we have made this epic nutcracker. I certainly need a nap now. Hope you have fun making it. Thank you for watching.